hello there. I'm in Creston again today. Today is Monday and the farmer's market is a lot of vendors here. Um, and I'm here too. <laughs> hello there. Just want to say hello. Just want to show my face. Everybody keeps saying show your face, show your face. But I'm not comfortable showing my face. I just rather show the products and show other things. But anyway, I'm here today. And thank you for joining me here at the Farmer's Market here in Creston. Like I said, there's a lot of vendors here. There's Randall's Honey. There is Gatecrest Bakery Goods, No Cones. And there is Matt. Matt, what's the name of your business? What's that? What's, what's the name of your bakery here? Uh, Lori's Home Bakery. This is Lori's Mom's. Home Bakery. Mom's and they have some awesome breads and cakes and cookies. I don't know, just everything. <laughs> Alrighty, then we have the Amish uh, folks here and just a little bit of everybody here today. But they have a they have a smoothie ride today where you get on the bicycle and you you turn the pedals to the smoothie makes a smoothie. So that's pretty neat. <laughs> so a lot's going on here today. I've made some new body butters. Let's see what I have new. I have some monkey foot body butter, I have some peony body butter, I have some Japanese uh, Japanese cherry blossom, I have some grapefruit body butter, and I have some cashmere and cotton body butter, and I have lavender. You guys got to try this body butter, it is amazing. It, I use the Mosify Silk wax to, to use in it, and it feels so amazing. You won't know what it's like until you try it, so I would say check it out on the website www.aromadelightbeautycareproducts.com I have uh, some oatmeal milk and honey facial soap that feels amazing I have avocado moisturizer uh, bar soap I have uh, activated charcoal soap I do have some more made up I just need to get it wrapped I still have my uh, happy bears and daisy soap I have some wonderful cashmere and cotton soap here. You guys, you have to try this soap. It's amazing. I have bath bombs, lots of bath bombs. Still making bath bombs. I have these guys, which have really lady, uh, real ladies costume jewelry in it. The white that you see there is the bubble frosting. When you run it under the water, it makes bubbles. And the fins itself is a soap. And in the bottom is a bath bomb. And inside of this is the ladies costume jewelry. So you guys check it out on the website. You won't know until you try it. I have some amazing uh, lip balms. I have it in grapefruit. I have orange. I have, oh boy, chocolate chip. Check it out on the website. You guys won't know until you try it, and I hope you will try it. And I've talked about my amazing cuticle butter. This butter works so good. It really, really uh, works good for the cuticles. So you guys won't know until you try it out. So I hope you would check out the website. That website number again is www.aromadelightbeautycareproduct.com. Okay, thank you guys. Have an awesome day. Bye now. Well, you guys, it's the end of the day. I didn't quite get out of Crescent in time. It is raining like a dog. I got a lot, of wet, a lot of wet products today. Lots of wet products. Oh, and I'm wet. Too. So, oh, I don't. I, I already had dropped some bath bombs. They've already exploded there. So it's quite a day today. I'm telling you, this is what goes on in a life in a day at the farmers market. And you think that's something? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I might. Hope I'm not exaggerating here. But my hair got caught. And one of these um, in the Velcro. <laughs> so if you want to have something to laugh about, I can really give you something to laugh about today. I mean, I, this is just like my hair had to be cut out of this. <laughs> my hair had to be cut out of that. Can you see my hair? I'm a ball yet or what? I'm a ball. I'm working on it. I don't know what I cut, but I just grabbed the scissors and started trimming. Because 
I, w I put the I put this tarp here on top of my products until I can get them packed. And then I stuck my head under this thing and it caught my hair. Oh, oh my God. This is a good thing I got a lot of it left on my head here. Well, anyway, this is a life. This is what happened in a day in a life at the farmer's market. You just never know what's going to happen. And here I thought, I'm never going to let that happen to me again. Even with a tent, as you can see, some of the, uh, one of the guys is trying to pack his stuff up and he's got his tent turned over. Uh, this is what happened, and there's a tent over there. So right now, I got most of my stuff just thrown in the van. It's just thrown in there. Um, my, my cash register is in there, so that's a good thing. So uh, a lot of this stuff can be redid, but it's just, <laughs> it's just one of those days. But anyway, you guys, as you can see, I'm still smiling. I'm still rejoicing and praising God, and it is really getting bad. So I guess I'm going to really have to get out of here. Oh, my God. I'm going to pack up, you guys, and throw it in the van and call it a day. Okay. Everything just got kind of thrown in. There was no way to get around it. Got wet soap. Uh, not too bad. I don't know how people do the farmer's market with the bath bombs that don't wrap them. On a rainy day, you're getting messed up. Thank God mine's a wrap, although I have some damage here. My cash register's okay, so that's a good thing. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I look pretty rough. I look pretty rough. But I chose to be a fun a farmer's market vendor and this is what happens. But you know what? I'm still smiling and I'm still praising God through it all because it could have been worse. It could have been a tornado just came and took us away or something. So you gotta be learning you gotta learn to be grateful in the midst of the storm. It's truly it was a storm today. <laughs> but as I reflect, I'm grateful. So with that being said, I'm gonna take my wet self home and see if I can't dry out and hopefully get my products dried out and get ready for the next farmer's market. All right, people. Thank you for being on this journey with me. This is what happened when you're on a journey with Deborah. <laughs> you never know what you're gonna get. It's really raining still and the clouds are pretty dark. Just trying to make it home back to Greenfield from Creston. <laughs> oh my goodness, this has been quite a day. It's getting kind of late and got to get on home here. But, um, it's like really coming down. I just want that to be said. <laughs> okay, bye.